So the first course that I took in 2011 for service learning, I was a freshman and I was, it was in the spring semester. It was intro to service uh, with a focus on hunger and homelessness. And the only class that fit with my schedule was the hunger and homelessness class. And I was like, was it, I don't, I don't know if it was uncomfortable with actual hunger and homelessness, or maybe it was, you know, at the time I think I was just thinking, I'm not interested in taking this class. And I think it was just out of my comfort zone. And I actually did my 30 hours with the Salvation Army in San City. And the first couple times I went there, I really looked for things to do that were behind the scenes. So I wanted to do paperwork, I wanted to do things on the computer. And so San City does have a pretty significant amount of homelessness walking through the Salvation Army doors. And I started to go in the mornings, uh, like the, the 6.30, 7 a.m. shift. And I started checking people in for showers and checking people in for laundry and serving food. And uh, I got a chance to sit in on a couple of counseling sessions and I got to, a chance to interview people to see if we could get them some help for whatever it was, money or housing or things like that. And it really, it challenged me. And over time, I found myself becoming more comfortable in that environment because I realized I was getting to know those people. And I was, I was really feeling like, wow, I'm learning stuff from them. And, and that was when I really figured out like the true definition of what service really is. It's not me just going there to, you know, hand someone pizza in the morning. It was me getting to sit down and really share breakfast with them and get to know about that person and share human interaction and and really support them in what they needed to be supported in on that specific day. And people were so thankful and so appreciative of just a gentle reminder that they were human, honestly, because they weren't being treated as such on their day-to-day -day lives. And it allowed me to feel comfortable going up to someone that maybe does not have as much as I have or, you know, is struggling in a hard time to just sit down and say, like, you know, how's it going today? And uh, really connect with them on a different level than just a surface level. And it was really, it was a really special time for me.